Today, we're going to grow crystals of copper metal by harnessing the power of electricity. Well, let's go to the lab. We're here at the Geek Group's High Voltage Lab in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and this is an electrical arc. Electricity is the flow of electrical charge. In wires, or the air, it takes the form of electrons. But in a solution, the charge is carried by dissolved ions, known as electrolytes. Let's take a look at what we just performed. We used electrical work to force a non-spontaneous chemical reaction to occur. This is a process known as electrolysis. We had a beaker consisting of copper II and sulfate electrolytes. We then put in copper rods. These conduct electricity. They are then hooked up to a battery. From the negative terminal, electrons are pushed to the copper rod known as the cathode. We observe crystals forming out of solution. Electrons are being pushed into the positive terminal of the battery. This is a type of electrical circuit known as direct current. Now let's take a look at the molecular level. At the anode, electrons are being pulled, so the copper zero metal is forced to oxidize into copper two. These ions travel in solution to the cathode where they are reduced into copper zero metal. This is the electrolytic cell. The laws that govern electrolysis were designed by the greatest electrochemist to have ever lived, Michael Faraday. control the amount of copper crystallized from cupric sulfate? Yes, yes one could. The amount of any substance dissolved or deposited at an electrode is directly proportional to the amount of electric charge that passes through the circuit. You should now see that the beauty of electricity is not that the is mysterious or unexpected. No, it is that it is under law. The mind of man is placed above and not below it. By enabling the mind to apply the natural power through law, it conveys the gifts of God to man. Faraday out. Now that we've discussed electrolysis, take a look at what happens when I take this nine volt battery and put it into water. This was Chemistry in Context, and until next time, as always, stay safe.
Have you ever wanted to give us money? Well, now you can. We have a Patreon page, so you can head on down there and collect some perks by donating so that we can eat. <laughs> oh god, guys. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten since the Halliform reaction video. <laughs> Please! Please, you guys! <laughs> ah! Alright.